I'm going to begin uh, Tate by asking, because when you're dealing with such a, a popular book, a bestseller of this nature, is it quite tough to navigate your way around appeasing the kind of established fans and yet still creating something very unique and something that's very distinctive to you as a filmmaker too? I think instinctive is the word I will pull out of that question. Um, I don't feel the burden of the success of the novel. Um, you know, I was a fan of the book as well. I actually take pleasure in figuring out a way to bring it to screen and perhaps bring certain elements of the novel to the film that they didn't see coming. I think it's exhilarating. And of course, the, the original story is set in London. I was just wondering what the decision was to, to move this tale to, to, to New York and what you felt it, it brought and what it sort of changed in the narrative and in the result of the change of location. Well, A, it was the decision was made before I was brought to the party. Yeah. Um, and I don't think it changes a single thing. If you think about the novel, the novel takes place in her head and, and her transportation to and from her home and a city. So there's no real loss of the city of London. And conversely, you don't really feel a tremendous presence of the city of New York. It's in Rachel's mind. And of course, one of the things I sort of loved about this was the non-linear approach and the way we revisit old kind of flashbacks that, and with sort of different conclusions. It, um, as a filmmaker, it must be so fun play, having that kind of um, power to play with the audience's perceptions and, and being in control of kind of the, being the person that has to kind of, I don't know, manipulate the story in a way that allows the audience to have to piece it together. Well, it, it's, it is fun. It is um, it's quite challenging. Uh, there's the script that's written, the one you shoot and the one you think you've edited, but when you get into the cutting room with what you said is, is this fun task of keeping the audience guessing. It is, it is fun because what you thought you might have thought would have happened is the filmmaker you often realize is not. So you're in there reinventing the wheel and it's, it's a lot of fun. And the film is incredibly sort of disorientating and, and as a result it's really kind of immersive because we adopt the, the lead perspective of someone who's quite an unreliable sort of narrator. Uh, what do you think it is about that particular uh, sort of character that appeals to you as a filmmaker? Because Get On Up was also, we had that sort of quite unreliable kind of entry point into mm -hmm. the tale through James Brown. Well, I think when you have an unreliable narrator or lead in a film, it, it just aids, um, it aids to, with, it aids your job in, in giving the audience a reason to second guess themselves. And um, we're all trying to solve a puzzle. And who wants to solve an easy puzzle? And there, there was a time when you were sort of acting and directing kind of simultaneously. I just feel, do you feel now that over the past kind of couple of years, it really is the, the directing that is, is your focus now? Is that where you see yourself just kind of um, staying from here on? Yeah, I do. Um, when I've had opportunities to act over the past, you know, three or four years, um, I realize that it will take me away from developing projects and writing projects and, and it will slow down momentum and um, I think you're right. Just very quickly, what is next for you then? Have you got anything in the, in the pipeline that you're working on? Um, I've got a lot of things in the pipeline, but um, in Hollywood, you don't, they're not actually happening until you're having lunch the first day on set. But there's a lot of stuff that, that's on the horizon. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, sure, thank it. you. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!